April 2023, a Larimer County Sheriff's deputy tails a white van. Inside, Jason Pattinson and Ben Drysdale, two law-abiding men who are just headed to a work site. I noticed like a Larimer County Sheriff behind me, and I don't think anything of it because like I don't even have like parking tickets. Like I just don't, I don't live that kind of life. Then all of a sudden we start, heard a loud bang on the back of the van and didn't really know what it was. The deputy shoots a GPS tracking dart that sticks to the back door. A few minutes later, <laughs> numerous police pull over the van as they point their guns at Jason and Ben. Driver, put your hands out the window, do it now! Honestly, what was kind of going through my mind was like, man, what has this Jason guy gotten himself into? <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, Jason's a pretty straight and narrow dude. I don't think he would do anything. Walk backwards! Walk backwards! Because I have no idea what's going on. I just assumed it was something Ben did. Police cuff Jason and Ben at gunpoint and throw them to the back of police units. First, you have the right to remain silent. What the hell is going on here? Oh, I'm just trying to go. Work. The van is a listed stolen vehicle of the Denver Police Department. So that's why you're both contacted at gunpoint and were pulled out of the car. Uh, I don't know what crime I'm being accused of, but. Okay. The reason being contacted today, the van is listed as a stolen vehicle of the Denver Police Department. So that, that's why you're being contacted and there were a lot of cops with their guns pulled out. Okay. A month before this fiasco, Jason reported to Denver police someone stole items out of his work van. But records show the Denver officer accidentally marked the whole van as stolen, causing a license plate reader camera to alert officers as it traveled through Larimer County. So I think Denver screwed this up and entered the car as stolen when they shouldn't have. Eventually, after the deputy calls Jason and Ben's boss. Hi, Seth. My name is Deputy Hart. I work for the sheriff's office in Berth. How's it going? And confirms they are not car thieves. He lets them go. Uh, you guys are good to go. Uh, sorry we had to be in any circumstances, right. but no, thank you. hopefully your day is <laughs> not as exciting safe, as this. Really a lot of confusion. I'm like, I had no idea what's going on, like why I was in this situation. Um, just, just like utter bafflement. Like this is, it, it's a, uh, I don't know, kind of a surreal experience. I wasn't mad at the policemen by any means that they're just doing their job. That's what came across their screen and said that the van was stolen. So it's nothing against them. So that was Jeremy Hohola reporting. This happened more than a year ago, but we're hearing about it now because discipline documents related to this incident were just released in the last few weeks. The Denver police officer who messed up that paperwork was suspended without pay for two days. DPD says they also put together some additional training for their officers.